Hi everyone, my name is Meech and I am going to share with you guys how I passed my AMP boards exam on the first try. I'll be breaking down what I studied week by week and I'll be just sharing some tips with you guys um, on what worked for me and what didn't. First, I would schedule or try to schedule your exam as soon as you graduate from MP school and give yourself about a month or so to study. The longer you wait, obviously the less information you retain from school. So. As soon as you graduate, I know you just want to have fun, but try to schedule an exam as soon as you can. I'll be breaking down what I studied week by week. I gave myself about three and a half weeks to, to study really intensely for my exam. And so for the first, for I mean, I guess for the majority of my studying, I use this book called Family Nurse Practitioner Certification Intensive Review by leak and this is the only book that i purchased and i went through it about three times in total but for the first week i went through it and i just skimmed just so that i can get the general concept of the book and then for the second week i made sure to to take notes on everything that i didn't know and i wrote down all the 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 pearls that she mentions and the exam tips and um, and I just highlighted everything that I didn't understand and I made a lot of notes and for the third week afterwards I went through the the four exams in the back two are two are geared more towards the A A A N P exam and the last two are geared towards the A N C C exam so I think the first two had 150 questions and the last two had about 175 questions. So I did all those the third week and um, and after I did that, I read, I made sure I read all the rationales and even the ones I got right, I read through everything. And, and then the last week for the fourth week, I went through the entire book again and did all the questions again and also did some the free quizlet questions that are online and any of those questions i can pretty much get my hands on i did and so yeah i went through this book about three times and did the questions about twice i also wanted to add that no i don't recommend purchasing the app if you have the book that has the the questions in it because it's pretty much the same thing so aside from Leak, I use Board Vitals, and I purchased that for $150, but to be honest, I don't feel like it was really worth it for me because it went into a lot more detail than necessary. I think for my personal overall knowledge growth, it it did, um, I think in that sense that it's worth it, but for the exam, it wasn't really helpful. And maybe if you don't have any other questions to do and you really want to kind of challenge yourself and your knowledge, then I would, I would just first start off with the, the free three-day trial and see how that goes for you and see if you like it. But other than that, I, I, I don't think it was really worth purchasing for me. So I want to share with you guys some tips that may be helpful for you before you take your big exam. Tip number one, I recommend going through all your notes again before the night before as well as the day of your exam. I know that everyone says to just rest, don't do anything, get a massage, and if that works for you, great. If you feel completely burnt out, then yes, do what you need to do. But what worked for me was to just go through everything again, and um, that really helped me to kind of calm my nerves a little bit more, feel a little bit more confident that I knew the material, as well as just keeping everything fresh in my mind. Tip number two is to make sure you eat, eat a light breakfast with, that has a lot of protein in it. And number three, just know that the exam is straightforward and it's not trying to trick you. Um, it just, so I, I would really rethink about the more unusual, the exotic type of answer choices. And if you haven't really heard of the the diagnosis or whatever it is, I would really rethink about it and it's probably not the, the correct answer. Tip number four is 
if there is a lab value on the test, just jot it down really quickly. And although you're able to go back to all the questions that you've answered previously, it can still be very helpful to, to answer the future questions that may come up without having to, to go back and forth. And lastly, tip number five is something that I personally struggle with, but as a general rule, try not to change your answer uh, unless you are absolutely 100% sure that it is the correct one, the incorrect one. So I ended up changing, I believe about three of my answers. And then I realized I shouldn't do that because I, I, I know that I have a bad habit of doing this and so I ended up stopping myself and just submitting it there so yeah I mainly use leak so I highly recommend you guys purchasing this book if you haven't already and uh, I use this and I was able to pass so and I will say that on the board exam like I mentioned it has a lot of straightforward questions and a couple that were tricky, but mind you that there are 15 throwaway questions, so don't be too discouraged. Just keep studying hard and keep at it and just have confidence that you will pass because you will. Good luck.